We are going to work on sketching within 20 to add and subtract. We are going to first start by building and transitioning that to a sketch. So here I have 8 and then I have 9, so 8 plus 9. We want to work as efficiently as possible to make a group of 10. So I'm going to start by building that 9 first with a row of 5 and 4 more. And then I need one more to make that 10 and then to add eight all together. So I have one, I need to add five more to get six and then two more, seven, eight. So here's what a build could look like. That would represent eight plus nine. To carry that over to a sketch, I would show nine. And then to represent eight, I would do close dots. And even if I build or I sketch, I can circle up that group of 10 to help me remember that I have 10 there. So now I can count 10 and five more is 15, 16, 17. So eight plus nine equals 17. If I wanted to go even farther and try a more efficient strategy, I could show how I decomposed one, decompose eight to get one and seven. Nine and one more is 10, which would be a number sentence that matches this sketch over here as well. And then I have 10 and seven more to match this sketch, which would then also match my fluency strategy over here of 10 and seven more. I could also choose to decompose the nine to add two to eight to make a 10, and then I would have seven left over, so 10 and seven would be there. So the only thing that would be different for this one would be eight plus two is 10, if I chose to make a 10 using that eight. Here is another problem that you can do with adding within 20. This type of problem will already have a 10 that is created already are given in that problem. So we're going to do 16 plus 3 equals our unknown. So with this one, I already have a 10. So I'm going to work on building the 16 first, then adding those three ones. I always want to keep it in a group of 10 when I can, because that is an easy way for us to add and count. So here are 10 ones. Since I'm using these connecting cubes, I'm going to just connect those all together as a rod to mimic these base 10 blocks. And then I have six more, and I want to keep those again in that 10 frame. So here are five and one more. So this would be a way to build out 16. And then I have three more I want to add, so I'm going to add those in this other color. If I wanted to write a number sentence that represented this, I would do six plus three and add those ones, and then, then Six and three is nine, and add that to my 10. My sketch would look very similar as I would start with 16, and then add three more. So again, I would have six plus three is nine, nine and 10, here's that 10, is 19. I could also show how I decomposed 16 into 10 and six. Six and three is nine. 10 and nine is 19. So this takes you to the progression of fluency strategies to add within 20. And we will use those throughout our adding to become as efficient as we can within 100 using those very same strategies. First we start with building, then we sketch, and then finally we use just number sentences. Here are some addition problems that you can practice at home. Six plus seven equals our unknown. Five plus eight equals unknown. Twelve plus seven equals unknown. And thirteen plus five equals unknown. Go ahead and pause the video and try each of those using whichever strategy is best for you either using tools, a sketch, or number sentences. Then unpause the video and check your answers. 
6 plus 7 is 13. I used 3 from 6 to make a 10 with my 7, so 10 and 3 more is 13. For 5 plus 8, it also equals 13. I used 2 from the 5 to make a 10 with the 8, and then I had 3 left over. 12 and 7 more is 19, because 7 and 2 is 9. 9 and 10 more is 19. And 13 and 5 is 18, because 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 and 10 more is 18. We can use these same strategies to subtract. And when we subtract, they're going to be very similar with your strategies. So I have, we're going to start with 19 minus 5. Your build does not look any different. You would still build using your manipulatives. Either kind is great. You're going to build with this first, the greatest number, since that is what we are taking away from. So I would build 19 and then show how I took five ones away. Your build would mimic this sketch. So I have one ten and nine ones. I'm taking five ones away, which I can do without having to decompose anything because I have enough ones. So I'm going to take those five ones away right there. So now I have one ten left over and four ones. So ten and four more is fourteen. Another way you can look at this is to just use number sentences as you become more fluent and efficient with your strategies. You can decompose 19 into 10 and 9 and subtract those ones first by doing 9 minus 5 is 4 and 10 plus 4 is 14. Again, these number sentences match this sketch. So as we become more efficient, we just drop the sketch, but our number sentences stay the same. So with that problem, we had enough ones to take away the ones we needed to without having to decompose. In this next problem, however, we do not have enough ones. And so we are going to show you how we would decompose that. So we're going to do 12 minus 8. Here I have two ones, but I need to take 8 away. So when I go to do that, use these tools right here, I don't have 8 ones to take away. I only have two. So I would take one of my tens and I would break it up into ten ones. So I would rebuild that with that invisible ten frame in mind because I want to make sure that I always can see that ten as five and five or two rows of five. So now I have twelve. Here's my group of ten and two ones. Now I can take eight away. So here's five and three more is eight. I only have four left over. So my sketch would show me 12. And then anytime I have to decompose, I circle that 10 and redraw it as 10 ones. And then I like to double check to make sure my number is still the same. Since this 10 is right here, I know that's 10, 11, 12. So I've not added anything. My value of my number is still 12. And I'm going to show how I take away by crossing out. Now I have 2 plus 2, which is 4. And my first number sentence to match my picture showed me 10 minus 8 is 2. So that's what this part here is showing you. Once I am fluent enough and efficient enough to drop the sketch, then my number sentences will remain but it might look something like this, where I have 12 is decomposed into 10 and 2. 10 minus 8 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. So again, 12 minus 8 is 4. This problem shows how to decompose when I don't have enough ones to take away from my whole number. When we subtract, we only sketch that first number because we're taking away that second number, so we don't need to sketch that one. Go ahead and practice these subtraction problems. The first set will have enough ones where you don't need to decompose. We have 18 minus 7. And then we will do 16 minus 4. This next set does not have enough ones, so you're going to have to decompose in order to find that answer. 
Go ahead and pause the video and then you can check your answer. 18 minus seven is 11 because eight minus seven is one and one and 10 more is 11. 16 minus four is 12 because six minus four is two. Two and 10 more is 12. 13 minus nine, this one again I have to decompose. So this is four because I would do 10 minus nine is one, one and three more is four. And so 14, four. And then 15 minus eight is seven because I have 10 minus eight is two, two and five more is seven.